guys, it's virtuous Ulysses again. Today, I'm going to take you to Nigeria, my second home. I'm going to show you how we cook Nigerian stew. This stew is going to cook by a Sierra Leonean. American Nigerian. <laughs> That's funny. I got this tomato from a friend and it's a lot. And if you know me, nothing can be wasted in my kitchen. So I decided to cook Nigerian stew. Guess what? If in my video I didn't cook Nigerian stew, Nigerians are going to ask me questions. You know why? I was trained by Nigerian pastors. Good men of God. My father in the Lord, may God bless him. My mentor, may God bless her. My father in Lord, Pastor Benson. My mentor, Grace Chibese. I want to bless God for their lives. They turn my life around. They make my life what I am to be in a godly way. And Mommy Grace taught me how to cook Nigerian stew with fresh tomato. Back home, we normally use the big, big tomato, but this is what they gave me, so I decided to use it to cook Nigerian stew. So I'm going to start with the first process and this is going to take it. It's going to take time to boil it. Okay? So I'm going to blend my tomato now and put it on the stove. Then tomorrow we're going to continue to cook our Nigerian stew. Please subscribe, like, share to the Nigerians. Show them that a Sierra Leonean can cook their stew. <laughs> okay. to boil and all this water must dry up 
okay hi friends and family we're gonna continue with our nigerian stew okay so on this side i have my onions i have three onions already washed i have some flavor pepper I have some sweet pepper, I have garlic, I have seasonings, you can use seasonings of your choice. In this bowl I have my tomato paste. In this other container I have Irish potato and some sweet potato. You can omit this but I just want to add this into my Nigerian stew. So let's go to the, the, the stove and see what we, we left the last time, okay? Let's go. Okay, guys, this was the tomato, the fresh tomato I blended. You see, it, it boiled and come to a dry point like this, okay? So in this pot, I already washed my chicken, seasoned it and parboiled it. This chicken, I'm not going to fry it uh, because I, I'm trying to cut down on oil. So I'm going to put it in my new wave and it's going to come out like fried chicken. Okay, so let's continue. Guys, I'm going to start by frying my sweet potato and my Irish potato. Okay. My oil is on the stove. As soon as it gets heated, I'm going to start frying this. So for now, I'm going to blend all my onions. Onions, garlic, pepper. Okay, these are the three things I'm going to blend together.
Suene Some salt and my sweet potato and Irish, okay? And I'm gonna start frying. Guys, you don't have to put all this. You know, I'm a pakuk, a pakuk. That's why you see this. So you don't have to. Okay, this is ready. enough oil then after frying I can still take the oil out of the tomato okay so Okay, at this point I'm going to put my fresh tomato so that everything can fry well, okay? Guys, what I'm trying to do in my video, I'm trying not to cook only my nationality food. I'm trying to cook different different nationality food okay so today i'm in nigeria nigeria when you put the tomato you have to be close by who are the and continue to stir. You don't want the tomato to get burned. I'm gonna check the chicken. Did you see what I'm saying? Just like fried chicken. Okay. I'm 
gonna just do 10 minutes now. This is the secret of Nigerian stew. You have to allow your tomato to fry well it's because we don't want our tomato stew to get sour. Okay? So you have to have the patience to fry this tomato well. Let me say for me, I fried my tomato like almost 20 to 30 minutes. Yes. That's why my tomato, my Nigerian stew is one of the best. I will cook it more than the Nigerians. Mm. <laughs> Don't mind me, Nigerians. Don't mind me. This is your delicacy. If you watch my videos, you will see where I cook Gambian food. Called Benchin. Yes. Okay. I've also cooked something called um cup pockets. Something. What was it? Okay. With, with the with the um achake. Yes. Achake is an Ivorian food. If I'm in Nigeria now, oh, you can still have it here. They, they can put uh, um, crab fish. They cannot cook without crab fish. And the secret is, crab fish make the soup so delicious. That's the way my mentor taught me how to cook Nigerian stew. She always put crayfish. But this time I don't have any crayfish. So. This time I'm gonna put my onions, my pepper. time for them they don't cook a lot of onions like me but I know I'm a lover of onions I'm going to continue to fry it okay I'm going to continue to fry. Okay, these are my different kinds of seasonings. Okay, curry is there, all purpose seasoning is there, sweet pepper is there, um, white pepper, black pepper. Okay. Use seasonings of your choice. Nox is there too. Okay. And I think so that's so. On this in this mortar is my Maggi cube. I decided to pound it because it was too hard okay so i'm going to put some of it into my stew see my chicken is ready See, 
I'm still doing my frying process, okay? Yeah. So at this point in time, still frying. Okay, so I'm gonna put this is the stock of the chicken, okay? For me, I'm going to add some more water because I want the tomato not to be sour, okay? Yeah. The more it boils, the more it gets out some of the sourness of the tomato. Ready, okay. Did you see just like fried chicken. Okay. If your stew is too much, I always have seasoning chicken. Just put some in a new way for the remaining sauce at any time. Okay. So our chicken is ready. Okay. Okay, guys. Did you see what I'm seeing? You see, the reason why I put a lot of water, you can see all the foam to tell you that it needs to boil. The soup should not have all this foam. Last night, me and my husband celebrated last night. But I won't tell you. Let's see how it looks like. See the oil. So I'm going to allow it to boil more. If I want more of the water to go down, okay? so good I'm gonna get some fresh rosemary and some mint leaf for my garden now okay I have to some fresh seasonings for my garden okay You can always put chicken in it. You can always fry some fish. So when I'm finished, I'm gonna remove some of the sauce. Keep 
into the freezer so whenever I want to eat like fish or goat meat or anything I can just boil it and match your Sunnis' kitchen Hey guys, this is my cloth, the one I used to wipe because this soup was jumping a lot so I always have something to be wiping Okay, I'm putting my sweet potato and this into the stew now, okay? Oops! One of the things I like in Nigerian stew, it has some good fragrance. Okay. I'm in Nigeria right now. Nigeria. I'm sleeping in Nigeria. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Like, share, as you do, may God bless you, may God sustain you, as you touch the subscribe body, your hands will never lack you, so you take that finger now, touch the subscribe body, and God bless you, see you next time. Just you, Mrs. Kitchen. I love you with the love.